Right, I have here a few items from my Nintendo 64 memory card collection that I think are noteworthy. And I'll just start with the one that's kind of the most uh, most different, I guess. This is, uh, for, from what I can tell, a preloaded save file card for Quest 64. It's from the same comp from Interact, which is the uh, same people who make, uh, make Game Shark. Yeah, Game Shark, the uh, cheat device, whatever you want to call it. I actually have a complete box of this. Don't remember where, where I picked it up from. Uh, it might be in one of the pickup videos, I don't know. Uh, both of these items, these, these two new ones, might be in a pickup video somewhere. Uh, but yeah, I got, it's complete in box. The box is kind of rough, but uh, as you can see, the label on this perfectly shiny. It doesn't even look like it's been uh, used even once. And all the inserts and stuff are in the box, so I think it is indeed new. So before I try to plug that in, I will replace the battery with the lossless method I showed in, in my last video there. I will, yeah, we'll see if, see if the, uh, this old, the old save file on here, I'm pretty sure that's all it is. It's not, not going to be any kind of like, you know, any, anything like a game shark. I'm pretty sure this is a preloaded save file, if I'm not mistaken. So you don't have to grind for two years on, on quest for the game to be fun. Uh, anyway, so the rest of these are multi-memory cards of various different kinds. This is probably the most basic. And, uh, oh, actually, before I show you those, I wanted to show you these kind of other interesting pieces that are not, not multi-memory cards, but just, uh, this is a Mad Cats replica of the, the short, you know, just regular OEM memory card. So I got a complete box one of those for what it's worth. Just this fun little uh, shelf piece there. And then another thing that was interesting is this big bulky crystal case. And this will kind of make the point of the multi cards here. Uh, and you can see it's there's three. And I don't know, not exactly sure if this came with one, but when I bought it, it had all three in here. And again, this looks very new. Let me get this open. You know, very lightly used if it, if at all. So, anyways, just kind of a cool piece. But these are just the same. Same form factor as this card, uh, but they're but they only have the capacity of one of the the short, much nicer form factor. So imagine if you for a moment having this much taking up this much space in your life uh, when it could be and having one less memory card effectively than than this or one less memory card than this or. 30, you know, uh, 29 less than this, you know, et cetera, you know, uh, you can about, you can get two of those in your life for sure. You know, at least two of those in there. So anyways, and, uh, so anyways, put those aside. Those are just kind of cool shelf pieces. The cool this is very subjective. <laughs> so, uh, this first one is another one that I, I'm unsure of where I got. I think it was in a bulk purchase. Uh, the blister packaging was all sun rotted, but this is another, uh, is, is definitely like new. Uh, the card here, you can tell this hasn't been uh, same thing, all, all shiny plastic and, uh, was, was new in package. And so this is the same as the Mad Cats X16 that my friend showed me that he had that kind of got me down this, put me down the rabbit hole of looking for uh, more than X, I knew the X4 cards had been around for a while, but I didn't know there's anything more than that. So this would be the same as the Mad Cats one. It's got the LCD display there, and a little, these little clear buttons to go between there. On the Mad Cats one, it was uh, a little LCD that segmented display was a little, a little wonky, but it, it it still swapped between them no problem. You know, it just wouldn't always display quite properly. So that'll be interesting. I'll replace the battery on that one and test it out someday. Uh, it's just kind of on the shelf for now and then these are uh, x4 packs and you see this one's again that's kind of standard aftermarket form factor with one two three and four there i replaced the battery in this one and and it works fine you know i got no no complaints about that i just don't like the fact that it sticks out so for the x4 packs this one is obviously superior uh this does match the official green on the n64 controller very well which is amazing um, and this one also works very well. I've replaced batteries in both of these and, and tested them, had save files on them for, uh, for months at least, and uh, no, no worries at all. So these are both acceptable options. This one's, in my opinion, better just because of the form factor. 
So like I said, this one's the X16. I already kind of explained that. And this this one, I'm gonna have this is this card's getting its own its whole own video basically. Uh, I got three of these in a lot, and it was I'd never seen them before anywhere, and uh, someone had three of them. So I, I bought all three of them for what I thought was a, a decent price, and one out of three of them works flawlessly, all 32 pages. I've tested them rigorously, uh, again, over, over months, and they seem to have held up fine. Even with the original old, you know, it's not only uh, an old lithium cell battery, but a cheap one. It's not like it was a Panasonic or any brand name. It was just off-the-shelf Chinese from 2000 or whatever. And, uh, the voltage was way down on it, and it was still holding the save, so that was kind of impressive, too. Uh, anyways, that one's worked fine, and then these ones got some bad spots on them, which uh, I'll, I'll explain in the repair video, but for all intents and purposes, if you find a working one of these, this this would be the, probably the ultimate memory card you could, for any normal person or even pretty enthusiastic N64 gamer, probably all the save 32 memory cards would probably, probably take care of you, but... Uh, for that matter, 16 probably is, is enough for even a fairly avid N64 gamer, and uh, the X4, you know, is, is, I would say for sure, for if you just have a few N64 games you play, uh, and one of these X4 cards, like this Nyko one especially, would be a good choice. So uh, there's a few different multi-card options and a couple other oddballs. Uh, I'll do a separate video on the, on the Quest 64 pack here. And I'll do a separate video on repairing these these two right here as well. These two defective ones. Got some uh, some interesting notes on those. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope that uh, I hope I showed you a couple things maybe you hadn't seen before as far as N64 memory cards go. Oh, I got you.